This video will focus on how to talk to your students about Alex knowledge checks. During the course, students will encounter progress knowledge checks, which assess students on recently learned material. After students take their initial knowledge check, it is highly suggested that you talk through the benefits of the progress knowledge checks with your students around the second week of class, if not before, to help manage expectations. Encourage students to think of progress knowledge checks as non-punitive review. Alex is making sure students are retaining what they have learned and preparing them for upcoming graded assignments or assessments. After a student spends five hours in Alex and learns 20 topics, they will take their knowledge check. Alex uses their individual learning path to guide the questions. It is important that students always do their best and only use I don't know if they truly don't know what to do. There are two huge benefits to progress knowledge checks. First, the results of the progress knowledge check will show students any topic they had learned but did not show mastery of and therefore need to revisit. Students can then review those specific topics that need more practice prior to a graded assignment or assessment. Second, if students are showing mastery of their learned material, Alex will reach into their ready-to-learn topics. This means students can gain topics without practicing them in learning mode. In a non-Alex course, students who may not perform well on an assessment will often shrug their shoulders and move on. If they want to improve their performance, they either have to figure out what to study on their own or meet with the instructor. Alex takes care of this for them by identifying topics that need more practice. If students fail to retain topics on a knowledge check, they can immediately go into learning mode and use the Needs More Practice filter to identify those topics they need to relearn. It's useful to tell students it takes fewer correct answers to gain topics back than it did to learn them. So this is not a daunting task and easily illustrated by the three-segment learning cycle instead of the original five-segment cycle. This ability to quickly locate topics in need of practice is beneficial to all students, but incredibly important for those C or D students as they typically are not aware of what they can or should do to improve. Simply working through their needs more practice topics can move these students up a letter grade. Nothing else provides students with this clear knowledge of what they know and what they need to practice in such a low stakes atmosphere. While most students will accept progress knowledge checks as part of the course, others might get frustrated as they see them as a barrier to completing other coursework. One way to combat this is to be sure students are aware of the structure, benefits, and notifications surrounding knowledge checks that have already been mentioned in this video. This knowledge check icon eliminates the surprise of a progress knowledge check popping up during a work session. It is important to note that the time mentioned is time spent working in Alex, not regular clock hours. After a few cycles of working in Alex, followed by a progress knowledge check, most students will make peace with them. For those that complain, instructors should look at their course progress and see what's going on, especially if the student is consistently losing a significant number of topics, as this may indicate a larger problem with their learning behavior, such as cramming or possibly using outside resources. It is also important to explain to students that if they try to cram a lot of work into a small time frame, like trying to add 50 topics in a weekend, they may encounter several progress knowledge checks. As with all math courses, it's in the best interest of students to work consistently through the course and not procrastinate. Progress knowledge checks are where growth occurs. This detailed progress report provides a great visual of one student's learning throughout a college algebra course. As you can see, the student encountered 13 progress knowledge checks over a 16-week semester. That's the equivalent of a quiz a week. But these quizzes were given outside of class. The instructor didn't have to grade them, and the feedback was instantaneous. Additionally, you have the option to schedule knowledge checks at appropriate times for your class to assess student retention and mastery. Instructors can assign these covering recent knowledge with progress knowledge check or the entire course with a comprehensive knowledge check. Assign these from the Assignments tab and then select Schedule Knowledge Check to follow the steps. Scheduled progress knowledge checks fit in nicely in place of traditional quizzes, and a scheduled comprehensive knowledge check is an excellent substitute for a traditional test or even a traditional final exam, as it can accurately determine a student's knowledge of all course topics. Be sure to partner with your Alex implementation team to learn additional best practices when implementing schedule knowledge checks. You can find additional tutorials on McGraw-Hill's website, as well as technical support via the Alex chat function, email, or phone.